Samika Knight, only on 13 Eyewitness News this morning. Well, the water was above those bushes over there, and we had about 20 inches inside the house. The Falk family has been in this home for decades. At one point, four generations lived here. They are not moving out. Instead, they're moving up. When we were weighing all the options, knowing that we wanted to stay in this part of town with approximately this much square footage, um, the, the wise option began, became clear that we would elevate. Dozens of homes around our area have had their foundations elevated in the wake of Hurricane Harvey. It takes about two months of planning and prep work for the lifting to begin, but once the elevation process starts, it can be finished in a day. This house will be going up four feet in the hopes that for generations to come, it'll keep the family high and dry. The cost of elevating a house isn't cheap. Some can be as low as $50,000, some more than $100,000. But there is a new program being set up by the state of Texas to help homeowners defer the cost. That program isn't in place yet, though. There's supposed to be funding headed this way. They're saying within the next 60 to 90 days we should get it. So we're all waiting to see when it's going to get here. They'll have to establish a program so everybody plays by the same rules. The homeowners who live here are bearing the entire cost of this project, but they say it's money well spent to keep their homes safe from any future flooding. In Houston, Jeff Ealing, 13 Eyewitness News.